Ok, the circuit is now powered up and the oscilloscope probes are connected to both the Q and not Q outputs. And you can see the blinking LED that tells us that the circuit is working. Let's take a look at the oscilloscope now. As expected, the two outputs are one the inverse of the other. While one signal is at one, the other is at zero, and vice versa. I have also set the potentiometer to have the maximum frequency, which according to the oscilloscope is 30 Hz, which is the one I was shooting for. I am going to move the potentiometer now to go down with the frequency, and you can immediately see the effect on the oscilloscope. Here, now I am at 5 Hz. Let me change the horizontal scale of the oscilloscope so we can see more periods of the signal. Look at how good is the shape of the square wave, considering that we are creating an oscillator with a logic device. 